Good morning, lady. Ah, you know what? Screw all that. All right, here's the Toro Time Master. This is a 21199 model. I bought it in 2017. Of course, it's better than the previous models because it has a 10 foot pound torque engine. Uh, this way, slices and dices through grass a lot better. So, this is basically about replacing the synchronous belt, otherwise known as the timing belt or the you know, drive, uh, you know, serpentine belt, whatever. It's the big belt that goes around the big pulleys. It's the biggest belt of all. So basically, the basic start of this is you have to remove on the right there, that right pulley, you got to remove, there's a bracket with two bolts. It holds a smaller belt on those two brackets, two bolts come off, the bracket comes off, you take off that smaller belt right there at that pulley. You'll see the uh, pulley at the bottom right there, that metal pulley uh, at the top with the nut and the washer sitting on it. You just popped it off there. And then of course you got to take off the large bolt, which is... I believe 19 millimeter or three quarter inch that thing comes off it's going to take some force the bottom line is some of these or most of these nuts are going to get thread locker i would use the blue which is medium strength not red there's a red that's permanent permanent and then there's a red that's not so permanent i, be, I believe it's uh 271 is the number the red but we're you we're using the blue on all these items because a lot of these have the nylon insert inside the nut, and that's when it's done in factory. Once you remove them and replace them a couple of times, the nylon doesn't really hold things on as good. So what happens, you end up over-torquing things because you have no clue what the torque specs are on this. That's one issue I have with Toro. They do not give torque specs. They may give one torque spec. I have a, a PDF file from Toro, and somewhere down there, 33 foot-pounds of torque for, I don't remember what it is. But either way, every nut and bolt on this unit, we should have torque specs from Toro. I've tried to email them, and they give me the BS about authorized service dealer. They must not realize we're living in the DIY, DIY era, and we need specs. We pay good money. We want specs. We need foot-pound torque specs for a lot of things here. All right. So you take off that pulley at the bottom right, that metal pulley uh, assembly there. Take off that big nut. Um, and then, of course, the plastic pulley right next to it with the teeth, the grooves in it, that thing has to slide off as well. Keep in mind, the blade underneath is going to slide downward. And that shaft that comes up through these two pulleys with the threads, you're going to lose that. It's just going to be right there below. Um, and then slide off the belt. Uh, you're also, to slide off the belt, you're probably going to have to relieve tension on the tensioner bolt. There's a long bolt there. You can see at the bottom that's the tensioner bracket with its pulley. And then, of course, right to the top left of that is a bolt with a spring washer nut. And uh, it also has a nylon insert nut on that. That has to be loosened. And this way you can relieve tension on the belt and then slip it off all the damn pulleys. <clears throat> so then once you have the belt off... Um, and you make sure that tensioner bolt is as loose as possible to back off that tensioner pulley off the belt as much as possible. This way when you put the belt back on, because you're replacing it here, the Stens belt is fine. They're all quality products, all the belts basically. It's all about the tension, proper tension. So when you replace the, the uh, belt, you're going to notice that the tensioner bracket that brass bracket with the tensioner pulley on it at the bottom of the screen. That one has two bolts that come from factory. The bolt has a, um, a larger diameter near the head of the bolt. 
that bolt fits in the slots of this bracket and it stops any movement. So it, it, it allows the bracket to slide back and forth while the bolts uh, are fully in place. They're fully tightened. So the issue with this unit is, it's probably a design issue, is those bolts tend to strip out. Because, we again, we have no specs from the factory, and people end up tightening those two tensioner bracket bolts too much. You don't know where to stop, really. And the entire uh, body of this unit, the red frame, basically, is some kind of cast aluminum composite material. So the bolts are some kind of hardened steel. Grade 8, grade 8, 8.8. .8, Grade 5, who the heck knows what these bolts are? Once again, we don't have specs, so if we got to replace them, we have no clue what the specs are. Either way, we do our best. So, yeah, people end up, and I've done it, end up over-tightening them. Also, they end up loosening in time because of the just general use of the mower, the vibration. Um, so that's a design issue. And then once the one bolt goes, the vibration increases on the bracket, and the pulley and the belt and things start getting monkeyed around there then the other bolt gets loose or breaks off or what have you and you usually lose it you have no clue where it is so finally a few days ago what I did was I said we got a good unit here but it needs some tweaking and having a two-year degree in engineering it's time to give it some tweaks modify it you know so what I did was I took the two bolts and replaced them with grade eight, uh, you know, steel basically from Home Depot and M7-1.0 millimeter. And I believe one of the bolts was 30 millimeters long and the other bolt I might have went with 25 millimeters. You don't want the bolts to stick out too far below, you know, the frame here because it's more likely to catch more grass for you. Another catch point. But it's got to be long enough so you can get a, um, a nut on the other end and a lock washer. You can get a nylon insert nut. That's fine. But still, put medium strength thread locker on these things. Everything with threads that's associated with the belt, the pulleys, or tensioning them, get some thread locker on these things. Don't go beast. The blue is medium strength. That will work. You need something. And we also need torque specs, which we don't have. The, uh, maybe I'll get it from the authorized uh, dealer. I know a couple of dealers. See if I can get a, a manual with the specs, if they're cool. Some of them are cool. Um... Because you, you can't just tighten it, you know, snug. Some of these weird words I hear on YouTube, snug. You know, don't over-tighten. Uh, you know, I, I don't deal with that. I don't want, I'm sick of dealing with that. Either tell me the spec, torque spec, or tell me you don't know the torque spec and you're not going to give it to us. Because I've seen dealerships doing videos or, or half-assed people doing videos that make money repairing things like this and other things and they still don't even mention specs or lack of so that's not good that's why i'm doing this video that's why i'm mentioning it because we have a lot of info we don't have and there's a lot of things they don't tell you they just replace it with the same you know manufacturer provided materials sometimes they replace the pulleys with the upgraded pulleys but again we got to talk about these two tensioner bracket bolts so there you go that's the info on those bolts so Make sure the tensioner bracket, that long brass bolt or whatever that is, steel bolt that's gold looking, like the color of the bracket with the with the t um, the tension spring. Make sure that's as long as po as loose as possible, so that tension with that tensioner pulley is back as far as possible, so you can get the belt on everything. So once you do that, now you're going to retension the belt with the tensioner pulley, which is at the bottom of the screen. And then you're going to tighten up the bolt with the nut, and you're going to tighten it. Here's another spec we don't get from Toro. Thank you, Toro. But I got it off a, a good repair guy video. He's good, but he doesn't give specs. 
so he's not that good. So he says, basically, tighten this bolt up, tension the belt, meaning tighten this bolt up until the space in this one area is about a little over an inch, inch, inch and a sixteenth, inch and an eighth. Where he got that from, I don't know. But I've over-tensioned my belt in the past due to lack of spec, and I'm just kind of winging it, you know, looking at other videos, seeing them squeeze the belt together and what they're dealing with, the tension there, and the gap that the belt has between itself. So, you know, I'm going to go with his number, inch and a sixteenth, inch and an eighth. Go with inch and an eighth. Here's the, here's the key. Go with inch and an eighth. Go with inch and a quarter. Go with, uh, you know, an inch and, uh, you know, something like that. And if it's loose, fine. It's a little loose, the belt. It's not going to, like, annihilate the belt. The way that the belt gets annihilated and ripped up and then everything turns to shit is when you over-tighten it. You're going to hear squealing. And you're going to tear up your belt at the top of it or the bottom of it. I've done that. Uh, so that's some pretty good information. Also, uh, if you notice in the picture, there's a level on there. And even if you take off those two plastic pulleys, which I have, and you put the level to what's underneath, um, I think that's the top of the spindles, the blade spindles. Things that hold the blades with four bolts, that's what they are. They're called spindles, I think. Uh, even if you put it to the top surface of those, you know, generally with these mowers, you're going to see it's off level. If you zoom in, you'll see the bubbles a little off level. So this mower, I guess by design, has a lean to it because I have another mower. That's the, you know, 2015 model when the when the engine was uh, roughly eight foot pounds of torque. Um, that one has the same exact lean. I did the same thing with this level and the bubbles in the same spot. So, th so that must be a design. I don't think it's a good design thing. That just may be the, the way the engineers brought this out. So the thing has a lean and most likely the pulleys are level with each other. So here's the final important thing. The tensioner pulley, which again is at the bottom of the screen on that brass looking bracket. That tensioner pulley is at a higher elevation than the other pulleys in the system. I don't like that. I've emailed Toro once again and they don't give me jack squat. They refer to me to the authorized service dealer. I'm sure they don't even realize it. So it's by design that this tensioner pulley is at a higher level then those two large black plastic pulleys and the other uh, brass looking pulley there to the left of the screen. Um, why, I don't know. It, it does something to the belt. It does a vertical, it gives it a light vertical tension. You know, it's probably a quarter of an inch higher, almost a half an inch higher this, this tensioner pulley than the other pulleys. It makes the belt be higher. Why, I don't know. Um, for some reason, the design, they, they want this belt to ride up and then come back down again to get to those other three pulleys that you see installed in the photo. So it doesn't make sense, but there must be a reason. They want to maintain some sort of tension on it in the vertical plane. Um, so that's that. Any questions, contact me. I have great information, great experience, and... Thank you. Subscribe to our channel, Fergus Landscaping. Bye-bye.